Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Holy Potatoes What the Hell. I swear it was only a couple months ago that we were playing, uh, Holy Potatoes Were in Space. You know, I gotta look that up. When did, when did Holy Potatoes Were in Space come out? Because that's, like, it could have been a couple, more than a couple months ago, right? February. Yeah, so like, okay, ten, eight, eight months. That's pretty quick turnover, and it looks like they did this one in 3D now. Which is interesting. Then again, it's not like their art style really takes a whole hell of a lot of uh, time or effort to make. Uh, comparatively, it's, it's it's perfect in its simplicity. Uh, potato... Sp 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 I give up. Anyway, so apparently this one's a uh, cooking management sim, which I'm excited to try out. And uh, shout out to the guys that make this, because they're always super nice. And uh, Yeah, shout out to Daylight Studios, specifically Ivan. Uh, for sending me a copy of this, because I guess they realized I love their games. The kitchen. It gave me life. But it also took my life. And everything I ever had. Thud. Ouch. That hurt. There's a nice smell from there. Uh, where am I? Where is this place? Hey, hey, hey you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Why are you wandering in up oh, my name? Uh, I guess I can't click here. Ah, wait, that's right, memory swiped. What do you want me to call you? Okay, instead of Sweeney Todd. Okay, so we get to name our character and um, and our restaurant. Okay. Huh. What do we name ourselves? TSI Friday. Well, I'm gonna call the restaurant Spudlicious. Just because I'm a terrible person. Names can't be changed later. Uh, with Dude and the Fish. Dude, Ramsey, and Fish. Everybody really wants Fish. Okay, fine. Fine. Ah! Illegal characters! You... Fine. People want me to go with the normal one. There we go. We will be the Spudlicious dude this time around. I gotta differentiate between the many different dudes that I have. Okay, and we'll just have the Fish. Spudlicious dude, that's an odd name. Whatever, get in line. You're late enough as it is. What? What's going on? Listen up, Fresh Batch. My name is Tammy Brock Oliver, and I'm the sous chef and manager of this joint. First things first, welcome to hell. That's right, y'all are dead. Dead. Oh, Daedalic. Kaboom. Okay, uh, your spelling's a little off. What? Did I say you could speak? The audacity. Thank, thank the devil you're, oh shoot. It goes by too fast. So anyway, yep, basically y'all were given a chance to prove your worth down here as chefs. Uh, we're gonna be cooking? Yes, and all of you will be assuming the role of gatekeeper chefs, the unholy protectors of hell. Wait, why aren't you changed into your uniforms yet? Oh, this is actually a lady, whatever. Let me just do this. Much better. You lot are now in charge of prospect prospecting the sinners through various methods of torture. Which includes frying, boiling, mashing, baking. Oh, that sounds absolutely delicious, doesn't it? I'll be going through the nine circles of hell. The first circle is right where we are now, in limbo. This is where sinners wander about aimlessly, for their sins are too small for the deeper levels of hell, but too big for the clouds of heaven. You may think, oh, this doesn't look like hell. Well, where are the demons? Where are the fly fiery flames of purgatory? 
Well, not every circle is the same. The mainstream media on every uh, only ever shows the circle of anger because they deem it the most hellish. Ha! If you spuds are lucky, you may just get to visit the other circles and see them for yourselves. Yes, I'll be slogging around in this hot, stuffy kitchen right over there. Follow me. Hey, you. Hmm? Hi. The name's Vegel. This is Dante. I met her just now. Hi, welcome to the Circus of Torment and Misery. No, Dante. That's not the right ant attitude to have on your first day. What's your name? Megasaurus Rexer. Whoa, for real? That can't be right. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna skip, we're gonna skip all of this. We are going to Alt F4 out of the game. We are going to, um, we are going to restart this entire process, skip past it all, and be Megasaurus Rexor. Give me a second. Did you guys not see the game? No, you guys could see the game. You had to have been able to see the game. Uh, it's just me quitting out. I'm sorry. This is important. This is very important. And we can just skip past most of the most of the dialogue. Okay. Yeah, it's just when uh when I'd alt F4 and loaded the game back up, it didn't look like it was able to capture anymore, and I got really confused. Okay, so since we haven't saved, we can just skip past most of this, I believe. Okay. Oh, I can turn it off auto. Can't can I turn it off auto? Okay, let's Let's skip to the point where we name ourselves. Okay, so we are going to be... Okay, Megasaurus... Okay, Megasaurus Rexor. And we're gonna go with... The fish! And, oh, we're good. It's for spelling reference, Stay. we gotta... What's your... Okay. Okay, so it is... Oh, they misspelled Saurus. Screw it, why not? Okay, this is very important to me. O-U-S. Which I think is wrong. But whatever, we're gonna get... Soros. Sor Soros. Yeah, screw it. Going with it anyway, because this this is important to me. Was it Rexor or Raxor? That's the that's the other question I should probably be asking. Uh R E X X O R. Okay, yeah. So we we've got this we got this properly. Okay, so now let's uh let's skip ahead because we know all this stuff. Oh, you can change your flag? Motherfu- God damn it. Change the flag! Hey, we can skip the intro. Nice! Screw you, Daedalic! You make- uh, you publish cool games and are very nice people. Okay. Third time's the charm. So if I do skip- Okay, there we go. So, yes, I can change my flag. Well, this is this is very important, too. Well, what is my flag going to be? An exclamation mark. What? Reset. What is any of this? Text? I... Ha. Huh. I... Okay. So, text, text. And we've got other stuff. This is very confusing. Well, I wish I could change the, like, outside banner color. I guess we'll go with that. Okay, so we want swirly symbol. Can I, can I shrink it? No, I can't. Uh, let me see. Can I change the colors on these things? Awesome. I can. Mm. 
No. That's that's no good. How about this? Maybe the, yeah, this is good. Oh, I can I can make it bigger. Oh, I can, that means I can I I can change the size of these. Sorry, brain. Wasn't thinking that much. Can I Okay, that that works a bit better. Give me a second. These are these are important things too. I go switch this to orange. And uh let's move this. I wish I could actually like uh chain make it a little bit lower. Well, can I decrease the size of this like crazy? Kind of can. Okay. Gonna actually decrease the size of the quote unquote mouth. That's there we go. Let's make the eyes a bit bigger. Okay. <laughs> Do we want to be happy or confused as shit? I kind of like the confused as shit. I don't think I can do any more with this, but that that's okay. You this okay? I think this is I think this is good shit. We could also do X's for eyes. You know what? Uh Here, I'm going to I'm going to try X's. Ooh, I like the X's a little bit better. The swirlies are fun. But I think the X's, uh, work better. I mean, we are in hell after all. We've gotta, we've gotta fit the ambiance a little bit. We could also try the rectangle mouth. Yeah, what other weird mouths do we have? Deadbot. <laughs> Meh. No, I like I like the I like the the triangle, the happy triangle, and we definitely want orange. Okay, there we go. I think this is good. This is my flag. Okay. Okay, so we are Megasaurus Rexor and. Right, can't have anything else. Okay, now we're done. Megasaurus Rexer, well, that's an odd name. Whatever, get in line, you're late enough as it is. Okay, it's the same stuff. Let's go past all of these. Okay, spelling's a little off, why? Said you could speak, okay, same stuff. We're gonna be cooking, chefs of hell, all this good stuff, and almost my turn. I think I can just skip ahead. I think I can also turn it off so the text does not go by automatically, but we'll have to leave that for later. There's also a really nice little conversation log if we do skip past stuff, which is awesome. Uh, they actually, they have some nice bits in here. Okay. So let's, let's do this properly. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your name? Uh, let's go with the proper one. What's your name? Megasaurus Rexer. Whoa, for real? That can't be right. Kidding. It's Mega... Wait, no. Kidding. It's Megasaurus Rexer. Aw, that name was kind of... That name was kind of cool, too. Nice to meet you, Megasaurus Rexor. <laughs> if only... If only it was self-aware. I know that both of you might be a little confused right now. I was, too, when I first got here. Oh, hold on. I really can't click. Oh, no, I guess I guess we didn't miss anything. Don't worry, it'll be fine. We just have to follow simple instruction. Got it? Good. I know you're all new, but I expect nothing less than perfection, especially if you're under my command. Right, so here's your task list and objective of this circle, lads. Aprons up and get cooking. Um... Um, oops. Did you get everything she said? No matter. I'm kind of familiar with how things are run. I can show you guys the ropes. 
first, we need to sort the evil potatoes. Uh, okay, click on the pit. This is the Sinner's Profile page. It shows you all the information you need about this nasty spud. Over here states the Sinner's name and what heinous crime he or she has committed. And here's how the potato sin is measured. M is for malice, P is for pride, G is for greed, and A is for apathy. Now let's assign the sinner to our punishment stations. The friar will turn our sinners into fried potatoes only if the malice stat is higher than 0.5, or than 50. Hover over the stations to learn about the requirements. Now let's do the same with the rest of our stations. Remember, hover over to check their requirements. Okay. So apparently, good job, that sinner is an excellent match for that station. So is this like a, not a cookie management game, but like a bizarro version of Papers, Please, where we're in hell and we're just sorting the sinners? I guess we are. This is weird. It was not what I was expecting. I should probably read these things. I'm, uh, do they have names? No, they don't. Uh, so we have a stove of anguish, the pit of judgment. Oh, these are like levels or something available. Okay. And yes, I'm aware. I'm very aware it's color coded. I'm just uh, looking at everything else. Okay. I killed my uncle. He tried to teach me about power. I slept with my aunt. I know nothing. Wow. Wait. That was that was a uh, John Snow. Wow. You're natural. Time has been frozen while you were sorting. Let's resume. Uh, to start the process, you can change the auto-pause settings in the options menu. Press space to unfreeze time. Now we wait. Wait for the stations to finish processing. How do I change the... Ah. Oh. Congratulations, you have just generated your first batch of ingredients. The text gets kind of messed up at this resolution. This tab shows your ingredient stock. Keep generating ingredients during prep time, so that you have enough to work with later on. Okay, for starters, ugh, I can't access the options because of the tutorial. Whatever. Keep sorting. Service time is coming soon. Okay. It's service time. I... Looks like we have a guest god. He wants potato soup. Click on the stove. Let's find potato soup in the recipe book. These are the ingredients needed for this dish. Once you have better ingredients, later on, uh, later on, you can click on the icons to change its quality. Now we have everything in place, let's start cooking. Keep in mind the patience level of, of the gods. If they run out of patience, they will penalize you instead. Oh my god, it's it's not papers, please. It's, it's papers, please, but not really. Crossed with cook, serve, delicious. Crossed with potatoes. Okay. Keep in mind, if the patience level of the god... Uh, oh, yeah, we already know about that. You can keep generating new ingredients while cooking, so don't stop sorting. Looks like there's kind of a limit. Dish done. Mmm, smells amazing. Let's visit the god's altar to serve his food. Now let's complete his order. Present his tribute. There's a lot of layered UI here. Yay! You have been awarded with favor for good service. Favor is generated by the gods... Uh, given by the gods when their order is complete. If you fail the order, you'll lose favor. Keep collecting favor to finish the objective. You need at least 20 favor by the end of the day. And that's it. We've completed this stage. You seem to be getting the hang of it. Let's start a real shift. Uh, I don't even remember what Loki's voice is. Okay, hold on. I gotta turn it off auto dialogue, but I can't while we're in here. You there. Let me take a photo. Uh, sure. Make sure to get my good side, yeah? Let me see. That isn't the right angle. You. Me. Take another one for me. Uh... Let me see. This isn't too bad. You, give it a try. Uh, potato dog filter or zoom in till his face fills the entire screen. Let me see. Whoa, this isn't bad at all. 
Sweet photo skills. Photog skills. Um, can we get you anything to drink, sir? Hmm? Call me Loki, or THE Loki. Oh, aren't you the son of Odin? Oh, you know of my old pops, eh? Of course, I've heard whispers about the ruler of Valhalla. Yep, I'm the infamous, or should I say, Syntagram famous adopted son. Whoa! I like you guys. Heh, I'll upload the pic picture on Sinistergram for my followers. You guys are bound to have an influx of customers soon. <laughs> Which hashtag do you want to use? The fish! Of course. I'm gonna add Loki. Loki, Loki for some fun. Up all night to get Loki. Uh, and done. No need to thank me. I'm only doing my part for the community. Um, okay. That was really nice of you. Oh, and about that drink. A Bailey's, please. A Bally's, please. On the rocks. Okay, you obtained new logo items. Game saved. Options? Options, finally. Okay, so we want to change some things. One, quality. Let's turn it up to fantastic. Windowed mode? No. I was wondering why the resolution looked all wackadoodle. It's because it was on 13... C Ugh, yeah, I was wondering why. Okay. Let's turn the music up and the sound effects down a little bit. Okay, and I guess I can't turn off the dialogue, or speed, or something. I don't know. Oh, uh, there's something else. Can I... Oh, I, I just saved manually. Um... I'm confused, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Let's close these things so we've got to start sorting people as per our usual. It, uh, no, I don't want to see that. It doesn't seem like it really matters. Do I have to wait? Oh. I have to wait for them to clear out a little bit. So I can, I can pause to sort people based on uh, what criteria they fit in. Luckily, it doesn't matter too much. I should probably actually read what these people are, now that I'm thinking about it. I cheated on a stranger because I wanted to be famous. We'll probably start having them uh, cycle fairly quick. Okay, it's lunchtime. Okay, well, for starters, I'm gonna sort the remaining ones. I abducted a mouse. You monster. Mouster. Insulted a colleague, okay. So lunch, what do we do? What's Loki want? No dish prepared. Go whip something up. But what am I supposed to, ah, bowl of boiled potatoes. Okay. Luckily it looks like I can pause whenever I want. So let's just do that. Okay, new dish done. Potatoes present as tribute. Okay. And he wants potato skins. I can also sort while we're cooking, so that's something else I need to remember to do. Uh, can I not? Oh, potato skins. Okay, uh, while we're, while we're cooking, I insulted my colleague. I whipped a unicorn. It was fun, you monster. I screamed at my neighbor's husband. I felt like a special spud. And I abducted a butterfly because I have no morals. Clearly not. Okay, let's give him that. Favors up by 21. Oh. Okay, and he wants tater tots too. Well, let's sort people. I peed on a possum. I relish the idea. I farted on a brown bear. These people have really dumb sins. I whipped a cat. I was envious? And we're out of that. Hopefully, eventually, I can uh, sort extra people in here instead of just doing things. So this is, from what I can tell, this is some kind of bizarro fusion between papers, please, but not really... Cook serve delicious, and I don't actually know what else, but that's okay. I kind of like it actually. It's it's more casual than um. It's more casual than uh any of those games I just listed. Level two Loki station processing time two percent new. So obviously this is probably going to get a hell of a lot worse, har har, as we go along. But for now, it's not bad. I stole an ostrich because I could. I might not read all of these as, as we go by. Because it looks like they are procedurally generated. Papers, please. Cook, serve, delicious, and super hot. 
Okay, bowl of mashed potatoes. Eventually, I'll get better at uh, recognizing these things. And of course, all the dishes are, are potato related. All right, uh, bowl of mashed potatoes. I see, and we've got like a limited number of hours. Okay, cubed, baked potato cubes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're running out of time before we're done with lunch. Luckily, it kind of pauses whenever we, uh, we, we do go. So let's keep working on, uh, dropping these off. Tara is my neighbor's husband. I was jealous. Tortured to giraffe. I, I relish the idea, and we're gonna have to wait until the blue one's clear. Okay, last order. Mashed potato balls. So it looks like it gives us a little bit of time to fill this in. Neat. I appreciate that. Though I wish uh, whenever we're finished cooking, it wouldn't actually just pop up and say, uh, we get stuff. Okay, so we get starch, we get favor earned. I don't necessarily know, but that's okay. So I could stay, collect more starch and ingredients, and proceed to the next stage and at the end of the day. Let's move on to the next stage of your adventure. I'll do grinding when I need it. Speed bonus. 40 extra starch. 